Oh, let's move on to the pH indicators further. There are two theories to explain the function of acid base indicators. One is Oswald's theory, the other one is Quininoid theory. Let's move on to Oswald's theory. This theory was proposed by Oswald in 1891. It is based on Arrhenius theory. According to this theory, the acid base indicator is either a weak acid or a weak base. They are partially ionized in solution. The ionized and unionized forms have different colors. The indicator exists predominantly in one of the two forms depending on the nature of the medium and hence there is a color change when the nature of the medium changes. Phenolphthalein is a weak acid and it is partially ionized in solution. HPH Unionized form, it becomes H plus and pH minus. Hydrogen and phenolphthalein. In acidic medium, the excess H plus ions are present which suppress the dissociation of HPH due to common ion effect. Hence, the indicator exists predominantly in unionized form and it is colorless. In alkaline medium, the OH- ion neutralizes H plus ion to form water. Consequently, the dissociation of HPH is favored and the indicator is predominantly in the ionized form and it is in pink color. Methyl orange is a weak base and its ionization can be written as MeOH gives Me plus and OH minus. In the presence of a base, excess OH minus ions suppress the dissociation of MeOH due to common ion effect. Hence, in the basic medium, the indicator is mostly in unionized form, which is yellow in color. So, in acidic medium, the H plus ions combined with OH- ion to form unionized water. Hence, in acidic solution, the indicator is mostly in ionized form and has a pink color. This theory also explains why phenolphthalein is not a suitable indicator in the titration of a strong acid versus a strong big base. The reason is the OH- ions are produced by the weak base at the end point is too low to cause the ionization of phenolphthalein. Hence the pink color does not appear exactly at the equivalence point. The pink color appears only after a sufficient excess of the weak base is added. For a similar reason, methyl orange is not a suitable indicator in the titration of a strong base against a weak acid. The weak acid does not furnish sufficient H plus ions to shift the equilibrium towards the right. A sufficient excess of the weak acid has to be added to get the color change. So here is the experimental setup of how the acids are working. Let's move on. So here is the acids and if you got any carbon or any other bases or something like that, there is a dissociation happening. You are able to see acid HA in general reacts with water or other molecules and it started giving ion and it forms A- and H+. So this is water molecule, it becomes H3O+. In general, this is how the acid reacts. If it is a strong acid, obviously it will give A- ion so that it will form the general property of an acid. Then it is considered as strong acid. Let's move on. I got my weak acid HA. Once uh, it doesn't react to anything great. You are able to see it here. There is an equilibrium maintained. This guy forms here 
and there is an equilibrium maintained in case of a weak assets i got my ha in h2o you are able to see this is how the reactions are you are able to see it here so gtech provides you a 3d of how the acids react with water here is the 3d of how the elements are formed by dissociation the process of breaking the acid molecules that's called dissociation and this can be achieved or monitored using the constant value ka i got a vkha with h2o so previously we have seen the strong acid now i'm considering my weak acid you are able to see how the reaction is happening so water and weak acid the dissociation is happening but in turn you will be having a reverse concept of equilibrium maintained once again your water molecules are formed and this is the equilibrium constant so this is another theory this is based on the structure it's a quinoid theory according to this theory the color change of an acid base indicator arises as a result of structural change it is supposed that an indicator exists as an equilibrium mixture of two tautomeric forms one is benzenoid the other one is quinonoid one form exists in acidic solution the other form is in basic solution at least one of the tautomers is a weak acid and or a weak base the two forms possesses a two different colors and as the ph of the solution containing the indicator is changed the solution shows a change of color the color change is due to the fact that one tautomer changes over to the other the typical example is phenolphthalein is a tautomeric mixture of two forms this is benzenoid and this one is quinonoid form so in benzenoid form it's colorless predominantly in acidic medium over here it's pink in the basic medium that's it thanks for watching the gtech technosolution product from gtech company thank you